So let's explain it. Let's explore some long division. So here we have a division problem written in this fraction form. Um, what I want to do is I want to convert that to the long division form. So I'm going to put the divisor 3x minus 5. I'm going to put that in front of the division bracket. And underneath the division bracket, I'm going to put the dividend, the numerator. So it's going to be 6x to the fourth minus 13x to the third plus 23x squared minus 42x plus 15. So that is how we're going to set it up. Now the first thing I need to know is I need to know how many times 3x, the first term here, goes into 6x to the fourth, the first term here. Now the easiest way of finding that out is to just take 6x to the fourth and divide it by 3x. And that will give me, let's see, 6 divided by 3 is 2. And x to the fourth divided by x is x to the third. So it turns out that 3x goes into 6x to the fourth 2x cubed times. So that's what I'm going to put above the bracket here, above this like term, negative 13x cubed. I'm going to put 2x cubed up here. All right, once I get that number or that term, I'm going to take that term and I'm going to multiply it by the divisor. So I'm multiplying it out front. Now, that means that I'm actually distributing because what I'm doing is I'm taking 2x to the third and I'm multiplying it by 3x minus 5, which means I'm distributing this to both terms here. So what I'll get is 2x to the third times 3x is 6x to the fourth. 2x to the third times negative 5 is negative 10x to the third. All right, so that's what I get when I do the multiplication. So this times this gives me 6x to the fourth minus 10x to the third. I just make sure I'm lining these up under their like terms here. All the like terms line up. All right, see my like terms lining up. All right, next what I want to do is I want to do a subtraction. I want to subtract this polynomial here from the polynomial under the bracket here. Well, to subtract polynomials, to subtract polynomials, if you remember, subtraction of polynomials, if I'm subtracting 6x fourth to the fourth minus 10x to the third, I actually have to change all the signs, which amounts to distributing this negative 1 here. So I'm actually going to change both signs. It's going to be negative 6x to the fourth and positive 10x to the third. That's because when you subtract polynomials, you change the sign of the second polynomial. So basically, this term needs to be negative, negative, and this term here needs to be positive. So this term here will be positive. Then I just combine those like terms. So let's see. 6x to the fourth minus 6x to the fourth. Well, those just cancel out. But negative 13x cubed and a positive 10x cubed, since the larger number is negative, I'll get negative 3x cubed. And once I get this difference down here, the next step is to bring down the next term. So I bring down the next term, which is plus 23x squared. And then I'm going to repeat the whole process over again. All right, so let's repeat that whole process all over again. Let's see. So once again, I need to know how many times the leading term here, 3x, goes into the leading term here, negative 3x to the third. Easiest way of doing that is to just take negative 3x to the third and divide it by 3x. Let's see what we produce here. Negative 3 divided by positive 3 is negative 1. x to the third divided by x is x to the second. So that's what I'm going to put up top here. The next term is negative x to the second. Line it up above its like term. And then I'm going to multiply that, which once again is going to amount to distribution. I'm going to take negative x squared and multiply it by 3x minus 5. 
that's distribution. So negative x squared gets multiplied by 3x, giving me negative 3x to the third. And negative x squared gets multiplied by negative 5, giving me positive 5x squared. That's what I'm going to subtract down here. So down here underneath, I'm going to actually be subtracting from it negative 3x cubed plus 5x squared. All right, and remember, to subtract, you actually have to change the signs. Remember that? Because I have here, I'm subtracting negative 3x cubed uh, plus 5x squared. What actually happens is you have to distribute that negative. Negative times negative makes this into positive 3x cubed. And negative times positive makes this negative 5x squared. So really, that amounts to changing both of these signs. So I change this sign. This sign changes to a plus, a positive 3x cubed. And this sign here changes to a minus, a negative 5x squared. Then I just combine these like terms. Once again, the leading terms here cancel, and I get 23x squared minus 5x squared, or 18x squared. Once again, I bring down the next term, which is negative 42x. And I repeat the whole process over again. It gets pretty redundant, right? Once you learn how to do it on the first level, then all the levels are pretty much the same. All right, so I need to know how many times 3x goes into 18x squared. That's my next task. So I take the 18x squared, and I divide it by 3x. And I get, well, 18 divided by 3 is 6. x squared divided by x is just x. So the next term up here on top is going to be a positive 6x, a positive 6x. OK, now I need to take that 6x, that positive 6x, and multiply it by 3x minus 5. So next step is to take your 6x that you put up top and multiply it by 3x minus 5. Once again, that's distribution distribution. So I get here 6x times 3x is 18x squared. And 6x times negative 5 is negative 30x. All right. So after that, let's see. That's what we're going to be subtracting from this here. So I will have 18x squared. <laughs> and a minus 30x. And since we're subtracting, remember the signs change each time? We're going to change the signs again. So this is going to be a negative 18x squared, and this is going to be a positive 30x. So now we're going to combine the like terms here. So let's see here. We have the 18x squared and the negative 18x squared are just canceling. And then we have negative 42x and a positive 30x. Well, that's going to be a negative 12x. And once again, I bring down the next term, which in this case is a plus 15. All right, now the last iteration here. So I'm going to repeat this entire process all over again one last time. So let's see. So what I need to know is, I need to know how many times uh, 3x goes into negative 12x. So the easiest way of doing that is to take your negative 12x and just divide it by 3x. Well, negative 12 over 3 is negative 4. And x and x just cancel, so it's a constant, the constant negative 4. So it's minus 4. And then once again, I'm going to take the negative 4 I have up here, and I'm going to multiply it out front by this binomial. So it's going to be negative 4 multiplied by 3x minus 5. So we distribute. That's negative 4 times 3x 
is negative 12x. And negative 4 times negative 5 is positive 20. So that's what's going to go down here now. Down here, I'm going to have my negative 12x, negative 12x, and my positive 20. But then, once again, just like before, I have to change the signs. So this will become positive. This will become negative. Then I'm just going to combine those terms. Let's go ahead and combine those. Well, the negative 12x and the positive 12x just cancel. But the 15 and the negative 20 go together to make a negative 5 when I combine them. And since this is smaller in degree than what I'm dividing by, my long division is basically done. Uh, this negative 5 is actually the remainder. So negative 5 is actually the remainder. Here's how you deal with the remainder. When you have a remainder like this, if the remainder is 0, then we're done with the process. But when you do have a remainder like this, the next step, the last step, is to take that remainder and add it to your quotient as the numerator of a fraction, all divided by the original divisor, 3x minus 5, 3x minus 5. And another way of writing this answer, so let's go back up here, this is equal to, another way of writing this answer is 2x cubed minus x squared plus 6x minus 4. And because we have plus a negative, you can just write minus 5 over 3x minus 5. And there, that would be the final answer. And we did it using long division. So this is the process of long division.